Now to the fallout for Miami Commissioner Joe Carollo after federal authorities ordered the seizure of tens of millions of dollars in assets. Carollo appearing at a commission meeting today and things got heated. Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia joins us live from Miami City Hall with the details. Annalise. Gio Janice, we did just hear from Carollo inside. He spoke early into the meeting about wanting so, to address what he says are lies. Now we are expecting to hear more from him after the public comment portion of this meeting. They're not going to shut me up or put me down. Commissioner Joe Carollo speaking out at the start of the commission meeting Thursday. I'm fed up with the lies, the defamation, the slander, the corruptness, yes, that is coming from different angles here. This comes after a federal court ordered U.S. Marshals to seize tens of millions of dollars in his assets. Back in November, a federal jury ruled Carollo violated the First Amendment rights of two local businessmen. The owners of the iconic ball and chain accused the commissioner of orchestrating a vendetta against their businesses because they supported a rival political candidate. The whole point of this is to stop the government abuse. Marshals should seize the house and change the locks. The jury ordering Carollo pay $63.4 million. It also demanded the city of Miami garnish his wages is to pay up. Carollo's attorneys filed an objection arguing the commissioner is exempt from his city paycheck being garnished because he is the head of his family. So we are expecting to hear more from him. He's expected to elaborate on what he touched on and what you just heard uh, as soon as that happens. And when we know more, we'll let you know. We are live in Miami. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.